I, I always kind of get inspiration from listening to other songs and stuff and just like, it's, it's kind of like putting your brand on input, I guess. Yeah. Um, I've been listening to a song that had a line in it that was talking about like, it was like, it's just a matter of time before whiskey turns into a phone call or something was like what the line was. And I was like, oh, that'd be really cool if you could make it like the actual phone number. If you could write a song about like whiskey tasting like an actual number, like phone number, that'd be weird. Um, and I thought JB was going to hate it, to be honest. I, I like threw out the idea because there's like times where I have ideas. I'm like, I, I don't think JB's going to like this one. But and that was one of them. JB loved it, um, which was cool. And uh, we dove into it. We wrote it in like probably an hour I would think an hour or maybe in an hour and a half like it was very quick and uh at that time we didn't have any sort of like publishing deals or anything that was that was like an avenue to get a song anywhere so we just had a we just loved it we were just like oh, this is really good but we'd written a lot of stuff that we loved and it's just kind of the same story we were trying to like cut our teeth and just like get good songs but didn't really have any big plans for that song and then through a crazy course of events essentially JB was able to get it to a guy named Mike Greco, who is a publisher at an A&R person at, at Big Loud. And uh, Mike at, at the time was trying to sign JB and um, like down the road a little bit. He was trying to like sign JB, but uh, pretty much didn't have, JB didn't have cuts either. So he was just like, well, let me see what I can get. Let me see what Seth England, who's the head of Big Loud, thinks of these songs. And so it was at, called 919 at the time. He showed 919 to Seth and Seth England was like, this is going to be a Morgan Wallen song. 